Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Kim and today we're going to do a fun tutorial with makeup products that I absolutely hate and also products that I probably just need to throw away at this point because I should not use them anymore. Sometimes finding out what other people don't like is just as helpful as finding out what people do like. Of course though, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that these products did not work for me, but that does not mean they will not work for you. So take with a grain of salt. Everyone's different. Everyone's an individual. So some products that work for some people great don't work for me and vice versa. Don't take it to heart if I'm bashing a product that you absolutely love. If you do end up liking this video, don't forget to hit that like button really helps me out a lot if you end up liking my content then don't forget to subscribe as well so then you can see more from me and without further ado let's fix this bare face and go right into this makeup tutorial with products that I hate first things first is the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer which is a lot of people's holy grail but it's just not my favorite I do not like it I've had this one forever and it's not even the large size or normal size. This is a mini size that came in a set of some other makeup that I liked. For me, it just doesn't do anything. What I want is I want it to fill pores and I find it just kind of mattifies and then, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me. And it's just very greasy feeling for me, kind of just as an extra layer that I don't really feel like I, I need or want. That's a primer, not my favorite, and I also think it might break me out. I don't really know, it's just, it's not my favorite, guys. And for foundation, this is the Get It All Foundation by NYC. This is in the shade 102 Natural Beige. It's not a good shade, it's not, <laughs> didn't have much coverage, it felt really greasy, kind of, and it just like doesn't offer good coverage, and it kind of looks cakey, so I'm just gonna, pile this on because why not so this is just uh, my good old beauty blender want to give it a fair shot so I'll just blend that out okay so we have our foundation applied it looks a little cakey to me and it's just it's not the best okay so I would not recommend that NYC foundation next is concealer and I'm gonna be using my glamouflage by hard candy so this concealer I do actually still use but I only use it as a primer on my eye to cut creases because it's just really thick. So we're gonna apply this under the eye and just put some onto my finger here and then I will blend it out with my beauty blender. As you can see, it is like really light for me. Yeah, we'll just put a little down the nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow. I normally don't put any concealer here to brighten up. A lot of beauty YouTubers do. What I find is it kind of cakes up with the foundation that's already there. So I like to rather a bronze around and not add another layer here. All right, let's blend this because I look absolutely nuts right now. The crazy thing is, is that I look so light and it looks like it's so thick but then it still doesn't cover like I like two little marks here from like breakouts that I've had in the past week and it still won't cover there. So going to eyes guys, we are nice and zoomed in. I look like a concealer raccoon right now. I, I, I got it. I understand. So what I have for eyes is this really weird palette from MAC. Normally I love MAC products, but this palette is just that was just weird. Okay, so this is, it's old. This is the fall 2014 forecast. So I have six shades of cream shadows. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it because any brush, can, you can only use it maybe as a liner, but it doesn't have enough pigment to be a liner. So you have to use your finger and it just turns out really weird. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this light greeny shade. I don't think these colors ever even, oh, see, my eyelid, eyelid is already creasing. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this greeny color, <laughs> little, I don't like this color. Um, and then as you can see, it like shears out so much. So I'm gonna use this green, darker greeny shade. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab a brush and I have like a concealer brush. I think that might be my best bet because, oh my gosh, look how creased and like it's gone underneath my eye already. We're gonna go in with this darker brown shade and go a little, I'm gonna use the same brush because who cares at this point. I'm gonna go closer to the lash line. It doesn't even have pigment. So under the eye because I don't know what I'm supposed to do for that top eye. I'm gonna go in with this uh, teal, teal color. It's like a grainy teal color, just with a smaller kind of like spot concealer brush because you need something stiff. So I'm going in with that just underneath the eye. 
All right, so we have our really weird green eyes with the pop of color underneath, which the pop of color doesn't look bad. Like, I mean, it doesn't look great. I'm gonna use this Lancome liquid liner, which is called Liner Plume, which is in the shade Noir or Black. Lancome is not cheap. So you'd expect it to be really good. Anytime I use it on my eyes, it does wear off through the day and then it just, it doesn't work. It just, it really bugs me. Like see how badly it's like dragging. You can see like there's little lines on top. And then the point is super hard to do. Like I just don't even know how to do it. It's really just not that black either. Okay, liner is done. It is probably the worst eyeliner I've ever done. If you missed my video on how to not suck at liquid liner, I will link it down below because I use a, a liquid liner that I do like in that video. And I promise that my liner looks a lot better. All right, next is brows. I haven't bought a brow product in a long time that I really, really hate. I did do a video on Shop Miss A products and they're all a dollar, so that's a bonus. However, I did buy an eyebrow pencil from Sante, the eyebrow designer or sword or whatever. It's in black brown and it's just a little bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna do my brows with this. It didn't look that great. For black brown, it is, it's pretty dark. And on a normal basis, I don't do my brows this dark. It really looks like I'm doing a Halloween costume right now. I am, I'm dying. So we're gonna do a quick mascara right now and uh, this is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. The wand is fine, like it doesn't look like it would be bad, but it just makes my lashes super clumpy and kind of has a very wet formula and kind of just pulls down my lashes. I'll show you right now, just applying it. It doesn't give me much length and like it's not giving me volume, but it gets clumpy really fast. Probably one of my least favorite mascara formulas that I've tried and like as you can see it's like super clumpy already on this eye Like I don't even understand. I'll just put a little bit on on the under lashes as well Anyway, we're gonna go on to lashes. So these lashes here are from Ardell. I don't know if they're the one 812 I don't think that is for these lashes. But anyway, these are their oh mink lashes I believe and they're very lightweight the thing I don't like about it is the band here. The band is kind of see-through clear and what I don't like is you can still see it when I put the lashes on. I sometimes like having a kind of bigger band, black band, because then it kind of looks like a liner. All right guys, we are back. Let's do contour bronzer. It's the Pure Cosmetics Contour Diaries. If you haven't seen my video on that, I will link it down below. It's kind of hilarious. First, we're gonna go in with a big fluffy contouring brush and we're gonna contour. So we're gonna go in with the darkest shade in the palette, tapping off the excess because you get a lot of fallout with this palette. It is very powdery. Oh my. It is pigmented. Very powdery though. It actually kicked up into the air. I don't know if you saw that. And then this is a contour shade but it is super, super warm. So I, I hate it. It gets kind of muddy. It's almost like the subculture palette where it just, it's pigmented, but it's like too pigmented and it's powdery. I guess we'll go in with this middle shade because normally you would go in with a warm shade as a bronzer. But this on top of our contour, oh, do you see how powdery and like pigmented, like I just plopped it on kind of, and now I'm rubbing off the excess onto my wrist now and just trying to blend it. So this highlighter is a liquid highlighter and it is from Becca Cosmetics. And I know you're not supposed to put a liquid on top of powder, but at this point, who really cares? And I, I don't like liquids for that reason because they're super annoying to use. This is in the shade Opal and we're just gonna blend it out with our trusty beauty blender. It's okay, it's nothing crazy, it's not blinding. It takes off a little bit of your foundation. And we're gonna double or nothing it because why not? So I have a Sonia Kashuk highlighting stick. This is in the shade Persian Sunset. I bought it when Target was in Canada. Oh my God. Yeah, just, it, this is part of the highlighter. This is where it's supposed to be. So that just broke in my lap. We're gonna just use this and then I need to throw this puppy out. I don't even like it or use it. So we're gonna put this stick highlighter on top of the Becca highlighter. Let's blend this out. It's too glittery for me. Let's do lips guys last. A super throwback here. So I have the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics OCC lip tar here, which were super popular a couple years ago. Don't know what happened to the company. I don't see them in Sephora anymore. But anyway, it is a pinky nudie color, but it is the wrong pinky nude for me. 
I basically never wore this. I'm put, just using a lip brush here with this one. It's too light. It's sticky. It's not matte. Also, it smells like glue. It really reeks and it's a terrible color. Okay, and then to top everything off, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Melting Pout Liquid Lipstick. So these came out in the summer, I believe, and I'll put it on right now. This is in the shade 105 or Gelful. It's not even original. So that's the CoverGirl Melting Pout Lipstick or liquid lipstick, I guess they say. It's really like a gloss, more like. It just isn't, it doesn't set properly, like it never sets, it just continually transfers and it just never dries down. So it really doesn't have any of the benefits of a liquid lipstick and it doesn't look any better to me. So yeah, it's bad guys. It, oh, it's bad. Everything doesn't look good, pretty much. My brows look like Sharpies. My liner is already faded and kind of running down my eyes. I have a weird glob right there. The foundation has kind of worn away. Lips look terrible and they also smell really bad. That's the face. I hope you had fun. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I had fun doing this and it kind of made me relive some old memories of some really bad makeup fails in my past and definitely told me that I need to do some spring cleaning. Thank you again for watching and I hope that you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are and I hope that I see you very very soon in my next video.